Above all, we are proving people can have greener energy and cheaper energy, even as vested interests are desperate to persuade people you can't. Just look at our green energy success. Renewable energy generation, renewable energy investment, both more than doubled under us. Britain, Britain is now the world leader in offshore wind and tidal power. Solar energy generation alone increased by 60% last year. And prices are tumbling. Does anyone seriously think that would have happened if Owen Patterson had been doing my job? <laughs> of course, Owen's gone with the wind. But there are other Tories I still have to battle. Eric Pickles, for example, on onshore wind. Onshore wind has been growing fast under us. It now generates 5% out of electricity, and it's still growing. But the Tories don't like this. Day after day, they've urged me to cap onshore wind, and I've just said no. And not just because it's vital for climate change, but also to keep energy bills down, as onshore wind is now the cheapest large-scale green energy option. Yet Mr Pickles doesn't seem worried about climate or energy bills. Mr Pickles, who claims to be a champion of localism, has been calling in every onshore wind planning application he can, interfering with the independent planning inspector process, overriding decisions of elected councillors. Mr Pickles is in danger of bringing the planning system into disrepute, of abusing ministerial power, and so preventing Britain getting the green power revolution it needs. So voters, beware. Voting blue will never get you green. And if the Tories win the next election, the dramatic rise in renewable electricity Liberal Democrats have achieved will be stopped dead in its tracks. <laughs>